Hello my friends and welcome back. It is episode 5 and we are going to make our jump to here. Quite expensive jump. But we're going to do it anyway. Cylon strike group has been detected. Oh wow, all of them are here now. Which one moved? It was the super mega big one, wasn't it? <clears throat> well, I suppose if they come to me, they're easier to kill. <laughs> Okay, this is one of the small groups. Okay. <clears throat> this should be pretty one-sided, I mean. To jump in three, two, one. Not so concerned about three ships. Whatever they are. Launching alert vipers. Scramble of fighters. You know, I position these guys quite low on the deployment screen, but they're still really high compared to the enemy again. On it, Commander. I guess next time I'll have to deploy them as low as I'm allowed. So say we all. I actually have enough fighters now that I could literally just send them in. I always put them on defensive mode first though, because there'll be an initial volley of missiles to eat. On it, Commander. Come on, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And here they come. Missiles incoming. Shoot them down. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Do me a favor and just... Give that guy a missile sandwich. Thank you. So say we all. Face the other way. <clears throat> I'll leave them on defensive mode right now. Okay, they got a lot of them. I 
probably should have done that before the missiles hit, but you know. Yes, Commander. That's it. Turn away. Target is confirmed. This will be over very shortly. Get that hanger fixed. Okay. You guys might as well just slow down and uh, just sit there and strafe, strafe the guy. There reaches a point where you have so much firepower that uh, the strategy kind of disappears and you just plow them down. Yeah, no way you're getting through all that armor. If there was a way to, like... Um... Just skip the orders phase at certain points. Anyway, we're done here. Subsystems are taken offline when they are being repaired. <clears throat> True that. Alright, that's one down. Oh, Fleet 10 is there. Fleet 10 is the actually dangerous one. Although Fleet 14 is also pretty large. One turn until the next ship is ready. Experienced 3% damage reduction. <clears throat> Man, 270 to jump. We ain't jumping anywhere until we've killed all these fleets, it would seem. Well, hopefully, these battles go in order, so I guess this fleet would be next. stations. Set condition one throughout Daedalus. <laughs> Is your Clash of the Silence looking a little too close for comfort? Save your game mid-battle. Don't encourage people to do that. Come on. <laughs> group that's like 
really low down. So be it. Yes, sir. Scramble the fighters. On it, Commander. Okay, I set them as low as I could possibly set them, and the enemy is still way lower than me. Yes, sir. Off you go, boys. You know what? Fighters don't seem to cost me anything, so... Uh, I think I'll just wait here. Squadron is taking fire. Hi, boys. You look like a man who could do with some missiles. Allow me. Hostile unit identified. Missiles incoming. Okay, front armor took some hits, but nothing serious. Because, of course, these ships have got massive uh, massive front ar uh, massive side armor and not great frontal armor, so, so say we all. need to uh, ro bleh, rotate them as soon as possible. Get that firewall back up. Wow, oh, the Vipers are having a great time. The fleet almost doesn't feel necessary. Turn and fire. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> I think I'll walk out of this one with no damage at all, which would be great. That's what you get, toasters. You get toasted.
All oh, right, that's another fleet destroyed. They can't just have infinite fleets to throw away at me. Two hundred and ten to jump. That's a lot. Interestingly, staying in the same spot turn after turn is not reducing my jump costs, even though I am uh, slaughtering my way through the Cylons. Well, everyone seems much happier now. Income is going up steadily. That's good. Cylon escort group has been detected. How many of these fleets can I keep on destroying? Seems like the Cylons spawn a fresh one every freaking turn. I guess eventually you're just going to have to make extra fleets and fight multiple battles per turn. Four enemy ships in this fleet. Okay, fine. Can I genuinely not deploy any lower? Nope. Fine. Understood. Launch the squadrons. So say we all. You know, for once, I would like to see the enemy before they see me. That would be nice. Alright, keep losing altitude, boys. I actually seem to be on par with them now. Working, working, working. I need a better computer. <laughs> Okay, get your defensive mode on, turn to the side because uh, the frontal armor is garbage. Okay, that's all right. Cover him while he makes the necessary turns. 
Anyway, he's not the only one who's about to eat missiles. Adamant is taking damage. They're already in our network. I can't keep them out. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. So say we all. Keep turning, boys. I might have been able to prevent some damage here by actually uh, using the fighters to try and screen the missiles, but it's quite difficult. On it, Commander. Get that freaking engineering sword. Yes, sir. Pop. And I think all of my missiles will be back online now. Those with still functioning fire control systems. Enjoy. And that's everybody. <laughs> so say you owned. <clears throat> I should probably do the next story mission soon, to be fair. Well, at least I have a real fleet now. Maybe even enough money to get some spare craft. Okay, that leaves... Um, hundred and fifty to jump now, so the price has gone down. That leaves one fleet, which is the biggest fleet. Three thousand five hundred. That's a uh, similar size to mine, minus the shipyard. <clears throat> so this could potentially be quite a close fight, but I'm glad that they've all come to me because that makes killing them easier. I want to go here and unlock officers. <laughs> We know, we know from episode 3 that that's what you need to do to unlock officers. But I guess I am not going anywhere until I am done with this fleet engagement. Detected a Cylon escort fleet, sir. Oh, it's endless! There were four here when I started, and I've killed one every turn for the last, like, seven turns. And there's, like, still four here, five here. Ugh.
Okay, once again, they're in the same position. There's just a lot more of them. With that many ships, <clears throat> I will definitely have to use my fighters to screen. Yes, sir. The incoming missiles. Or I'm going to be in real trouble. Greatest mark for tag. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. Okay, you two defend Iberian. You two defend Eos. <clears throat> Yes, sir. I've got to get alignment with these guys fast. Oh, it's mostly carriers. Oh, well, keeping my fighters on the defensive is actually a great idea then. Gotta remember that the adamant class is, uh,. Frontal armor is total garbage, so. Once the missiles get fired, it will be time to rotate them. Okay, good alignment. Did I not launch your vipers? Understood. I forgot I had three adamants. He has no frontal armor, so if he just sits there, he is going to die immediately. Oh, wow. Can you tell what's going on? Because I sure as shit can. <laughs> Someone is about to be in a world yes, of pain. Just keep firing at him. Nothing but the rain. It's testing. We've been through work. Reloading. Okay.
Yes, Commander. Turn, turn, turn. Squadron has gone dark. Hmm. a proper mess this one understood Manticore is taking damage. Let's get rid of that filthy little hacker. Especially now that his rear is exposed. That's the left armor that's gone. Turn a bit more heavily. Manticore is taking damage. Priority one still online. Solution updated. Target acquisition maintained. Okay, I think the escorts are about to be dead. Okay, you've successfully turned to hide your armor. This is the right side of the ship, right? So, the left side got hammered early on, they should all be fine now. Say we all. Okay. How long until those missiles are ready? Alright, they're in full route right now. Rear armor down. There we go. That is really what I want to aim for. The last of their actually dangerous cruisers. Or... Are they cruisers? Are they frigates? I mean... 
I wonder if these missiles ever run out of range. I mean, it's space, so in theory, they shouldn't have an issue of range. I wanted to get this guy as well because he's coming around the side of my fleet that's actually all smashed in since I rotated it. Adjusting shot by point one seven. Fire. Wow, he just took some hurt. Okay, I'm not going to focus fire because I want the guns actually shooting at anything and everything. We're taking sustained fire. Manticore is taking damage. Yup, he's hitting, he's hitting the left side, which is... This fleet is mostly damaged on the left side. I can't afford to break formation. I just need to break him before he breaks me. Manticore is taking damage. Which I should. Because his hull is almost gone. That was a good little maneuver by him, but I saved my missiles for that, so... Oops. Yes, sir. Right. I think it's like one more turn until the missiles are ready. Manticore is taking damage. The right armor is gone. Point in the front. Point in the front and do it now. We've taken hits everywhere. They're very close Manticore to dead. Is taking damage. Just keep at it. Keep showing that front armor. Oh yeah. Rear armor zero. Lots of pain coming. Yes, Commander. Just some minor adjustments. All oh, right, and then we're gonna get out of this with more minor damage. Look at that, we took out this massive fleet without actually losing anybody. How glorious. Nice. That could have gone very differently. Forget trying to repair subsystems during the battle, it's just not going to happen. It takes too long. Nice! They've gone green. Because we just... We just smashed so many Cylon fleets. <laughs> And the jump drive is now down to 90, because we've it does actually go down while we've been fighting in this sector. Sweet. So now we could realistically pursue the story. Unless we really wanted to continue to smash fleets here.
I guess I really need to actually pursue the story soon, though. It does make you wonder if you could just sit here and produce ships forever <laughs> until the whole area is totally secured and then just move on. There is that big fleet there. It might be risky to take that on. I think we should proceed with the story because, I mean, if I'm going to be bug squishing this whole time anyway, for, for a start, our fleet has grown massively in size since I last attempted to do these two story missions. And I actually won this one pretty cleanly, but the next one was impossible. I just didn't have the fleet for it. But I guess my point is, is that this mission does unlock the officers and... I suppose if I'm going to go around bug squishing the whole time, it would be nice to get a, an officer or two. Further increase my power. Now we've got the jump cost down to 90 as well. So we, we have actually cemented our position quite a lot it seems. Unless I'm missing something about this game. Which I don't think I am. So... Um, yeah, that's it for now. We'll hit this out next time and maybe I might even be able to create a second fleet and use it to just babysit. Because I see no reason to keep Corvettes in my main fleet. As soon as I have something better, they're gone. <laughs> because for just 250 extra, you get a ship with more armor, a fighter squadron, uh, better weapons. Like, it's just better in every way. Bigger is better, it would seem to me. Okay, alright. I'll see you guys next time.